Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the Automation Direct's USB to RS-485 uh, serial communication device. It comes as a USB connection that fits into your computer along with a couple of cables to communicate to devices that you want to talk to. Now it comes itself with a disk with all the drivers but what I would recommend is go directly to the website and where, where you can actually download the drivers itself and it will be for either 32 or 64-bit uh, machine. So once you've uh, downloaded those drivers then you would call up um, the actual download itself which is USB 45M for Windows. You, I'm currently on a Windows 7 64-bit machine so I'll call up uh, this particular program so now it will tell me if I'm going to install the driver for it click next and you accept the agreement click next and it says it's ready to use now what you must do is plug the device into your computer and what will happen is it will start searching for the driver itself. Once it once it's, uh, saw the driver it will install it and then it will uh, say its device is ready. So what we'll do is call up our device manager and under device manager you'll actually see this as a COM port in your ports here. So in my case here I have COM number 5. So remember this is serial communication so as such we have to ensure that we have the correct baud rate, parity, stop bits, etc. So what we'll do is we will, um, since we have that plugged in, we're going to um, connect to a SOLA or SOLO uh, temperature controller and process controller and what we'll do is we'll call up a advanced HMI display and right now I'm using Modbus RTU you'll see the baud rate at 9600 data bits is 8 parity is even um, port number 5 just like we saw in our device manager station number 1 and we have one stop bit so what we'll do now is just run this and what we see on the screen is our set value of 19 degrees Celsius or present value of 19.3 degrees Celsius and I can actually change the set value we'll say it's uh, going to be 10 degrees and it turns to 10 and what you'll notice is on the actual USB unit there's a green light which will remain on all the time which means it's powered now you'll also notice that there's no external power supply, it's all built into the unit itself. And you will see a orange light which will be flashing as it's communicating. Okay, that's it for now. For more information, visit our website at www.accautomation.ca. Thanks for watching.